people think oats can only be used for porridge, but they're actually really useful for a lot of savoury dishes, things like bread, Staffordshire oat cakes, all kinds of different things you can actually add them to. And what they do is they make it a really great consistency so in this dish we're going to use them to make a really nice thick sauce and in things like bread they just add a lovely texture and also a great flavor as well but also because they're a British crop they're also a really sustainable thing to be adding to your recipe so in this recipe we've got lots of lovely fresh vegetables we've got the onions and the mushrooms and the aubergines and we're going to be adding walnuts into it as well breadcrumbs and tomatoes but the first thing we need to do is get the oven heated and we'll be heating that up to a temperature of 190 degrees okay so I put some oil in the baking tray and I'm just going to you can either just swirl it round or just use a little pastry brush like I've got here just to make sure it's all coated you don't want a lot of oil in there it's just really to stop things from sticking and then we just pop that to one side so you need two onions for this recipe and basically you're just going to chop them make sure you take all the outside out Chop them fairly finely, but you don't have to be too perfect about those. Okay, so now I'm going to slice the aubergine. For this recipe, you need two aubergines, and you want to slice it quite finely. And what you, this recipe needs you to do is to actually, once you've got all the aubergine slices, is just to sprinkle some salt on the top of them, and that's going to draw out the bitterness. You just need to leave the salt on the aubergine slices for half an hour, and then just rinse the salt off, because obviously otherwise it'll make the dish very salty. You need 100 grams of mushrooms. Uh, you just rinse those, make sure that all the mud's off them, nice and clean, and then just chop those, again, fairly roughly. So now I'm gonna put the oil into the pan and get that hot. So I'm gonna to add to the hot oil in the frying pan the onions, and I want to sweat those down. I don't want to brown them, I just want to sweat them. And by sweating, all I'm doing is just softening them slightly. Okay, so this is a, a vegetarian dish. We've got cheese and walnuts in there, so there's lots of protein. So it's a really nice balanced dish to have alongside all the carbohydrates that are coming from the flour and the walnuts. But it's actually quite a low fat dish as well. As you saw when I put the oil in the pan, I'm only using a small amount. So it's a really nice, healthy, balanced dish. I'm just going to start to season them. And I'm going to do that with a really generous grate of freshly ground black pepper. And that goes into the onions. And I'm also going to just put some, a little bit of sea salt in as well. So just sprinkle a little bit of that in. Now the onions are pretty much sweated down. What I'm going to be doing is adding breadcrumbs. Every time you add something, make sure you give it a really good stir through. And then I'm adding 100 grams of walnuts. These are just chopped walnuts. So I'm going to add 50 grams of the Morn Flake Super Fast Oats. So these are the chopped oats. And these are going to give a really nice texture to the dish and really help to kind of bring it together. Just lightly toast the oats. So again, you're releasing a really nice aroma and getting some of the flavour out, but you don't actually want to cook them. Just literally placing down the first layer of the aubergine slices. So make sure we've got a good first layer and then pop some mushrooms. Now this is just some drained tin tomatoes. those over and then on top of that first layer of aubergines is where you sprinkle so this is the oat mixture with all the breadcrumbs the sweated onions and all the walnuts and then you're going to go do exactly the same thing with the second layer of aubergines mushrooms the tomatoes and then more of the oat mixture so now we're going to make the topping for the walnut moussaka and what you need to do is you Get a mixing bowl and start off by grating 50 grams of cheese into the bowl. To the cheese, you're adding 150 mils of plain yogurt and stir that in. And then to that, I'm adding just one free range organic egg. And then to that, I'm adding 15 mils of flour and then giving it a really good stir through. So this is starting to become a thicker sauce and this is going to add some creaminess to the moussaka dish so when you've got most of the lumps out it's all nicely mixed through just going to spoon or just pour that over okay now we're ready to put the dish into the oven so the moussaka has been cooking for just over half an hour now it's nice and brown and it's ready to come out of the oven I'm just going to serve it here with some salad. You can serve it with any seasonal vegetables and it makes a perfect balanced family meal.